Are we having fun yet? On February 26, 2024, Bitcoin grew $93 billion in market cap in a single day. It took 11 years for Bitcoin to grow that same amount from the Genesis block. Now, there's an example of gradually, then suddenly for you. And you can best believe I rock some Bitcoin apparel on the 27th. Bitcoiners are celebrating, but at the same time, we need to be wary. Bitcoin's growth oftentimes pulls with it a season for scammers and grifters. Last video, I mentioned the quote, after all, a fool and his money are soon parted. Let's talk about people who want to play you for a fool and take you for your Bitcoin. It's Sir Ulrich and my signal meter is red. It's times like these that people should be on their most guarded. We can take one very good life decision like purchasing Bitcoin and quickly turn it into a nightmarish one. And why is that? Well, we live up to our name, consumers. The normal response, of course, to that statement is, well, of course we're consumers because that's what we've always been called by the economist, the highly regarded, the central planners. It's kind of interesting. But before we dive into the etymology of consumer, I want to remind you your engagement via likes, shares, and subscribes enable us to beat the algorithm saturated with walled garden crypto shills and trader noise. Help Swan Bitcoin bring the message of sound money savings to the masses. We just may be able to save a few of them along the way. So just what is a consumer? Well, the word has roots to a 15th century definition as one who squanders or wastes. In economics, an 18th century definition is one who uses up goods or articles, one who destroys the exchangeable value of a commodity by using it. That's a nasty little name, derogatory even. Of all the social groups you can think of, the consumers are the ones that have truly been increasingly marginalized over time, yet no one seems to care or notice. It's a role that while all people participate in, it epitomizes or characterizes a massive segment of the global population. Some people make a living off the pursuit of taking advantage of this demographic of people. These people are parasites, or one who lives off the expense of another. In the eyes of the cunning predatory parasite, consumers are simply opportunities to farm. And if Bitcoin has shot up in dollar exchange rate, their mindset is surely there are a few more idiots with extra funds than there were yesterday. Consequently, you're going to start to see more of these people pop up. I'm going to talk to you about three different personas. See if you can recognize some. Let me know about your experience with them in the comments below. The pyramid marketer is going to appeal to the exclusivity of this opportunity and treat you for a moment like a very important potential investor. He may name drop some people or institutions that are also involved to dial up the FOMO. Now that person can lie and tell the truth at the same time. You are an important potential investor because they need your contribution to pay off the more important early participants. You know, those people that were used to convince you to join in the first place. Sound familiar? This is a Ponzi scheme. You are the exit liquidity. It's funny when you just say, don't trust verify, you know, the Bitcoin slogan. This breaks down any opportunity for people like this to attack you. Very similar to that is the vaporware project. This may not have the recognizable names aligned or treat you like a distinguished investor, but damn, they sure do look pretty. Everything and anything to catch your unassuming eye. They have white papers and they are all AI generated. They have a new modern consensus, not old and boring like proof of work. They'll use proof of history or three blockchains. And because decentralized consensus max supply and no pre-mining is not fair enough, they will make sure to tell you a half a dozen times how the three creators with 65% of the supply is for the people. By the time you jump through the hoops to buy this crappy project on PancakeSwap because they promised you 1000x on your fiat, you could have just saved your Bitcoin, touched grass, and maybe even found yourself a nice girlfriend. 
Then you have the minor league celebrities coming to you live from their basement that are claiming to hold the secrets to the market itself. Now, they just may want you to buy their book. That's fine. But when they start shilling you surefire venture capital projects or a publicly traded company that's the, quote, best balance sheet they've ever seen, you may want to stop and think. And then there's the classic, sign up for my program to learn how to capitalize on the market like me. Now, how is a system so good that they need to use other people's money to capitalize on it? That sounds like risk-free returns to me. These scammers will grow their presence and influence for the goal to funnel simple-minded, trusting consumers into money traps that critical and cautious Bitcoiners would just never dabble with. You could find them at almost every Bitcoin conference and in your face every time you turn on social media or YouTube. If that means you must cut yourself off those mediums entirely so you don't get baited into losing your entire savings because the pull they have on you is too great, then so be it. A fool and his money are soon parted. Throughout this bull market, there will be people after your Bitcoin promising gains, returns, yield, and even love. Shout out Asian crypto girls on Twitter. But what they can't promise you is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is not a promise. It's a record of settlement, and there are only so many of them in existence. So why would you give up something certain for something whose legitimacy is up for debate? And that could be crypto or fiat. Yes, even dollars. If that sounds like a maximalist statement, well, it's true. How do you convert willingly back to money that has the worst track record? I'm not talking about swapping to fiat to purchase wants and needs. We've talked about this in the last video. Money is there to satisfy wants and needs at the appointed time. And no one but yourself is to tell you when that is. However, the idea to swap out of Bitcoin to place your hopes in one of 25,000 tokens that says, trust me, bro, is the epitome of consumerism. You are not only consuming or squandering your own time, but the time of your descendants as well. And as for the wannabe traders, just look at the charts. You think you can time that? Be my guest, but be sure to share more than just your best transactions. Let's keep things honest. I am Sir Ulrich like my father before me. Throw off the rags of the common consumer and be a productive and saving Bitcoiner with the convictions of a Jedi Knight. Avoid the trappings of greed during this bull market and proudly tell every no-coiner around you, I told you so.